Hello, welcome back to Blender Switch Live. Today I'll be showing you again uh, flip fluid simulations and this time I will try to get deeper with the curve guide. Um, this one is actually a really cool way to sculpt uh, fluid. So in this case the setup uh, is simple. We drop a water and then we try to pull the water using this curve guide. And I think it's kind of following the curve until th this point and then the fluid actually fell down. Uh, maybe the gravity was too strong. Supposedly it's following the curve and then goes inside Suzanne. But we're gonna try from s scratch anyway. So I'm using Blender 2.93, file save S. Let's save this FF uh, fluid curve guide let's see if we can create something very quickly flip fluid create domain so we get this flip domain that we can scale and we want to have curve and we want to have something solid something uh we, we need the fluid inside this obstacle so let's let's try making a cube here I think this should do the job and turn this into fluid and if I'm not wrong the fluid will just drop by gravity so select the domains and then bake so we can see the fluid yeah okay the fluid just being pulled down by the gravity Okay, let's stop, reset. Maybe just like that. And I want to try to have a curve. So shift, shift A, curve, Bezier. Go to edit mode, delete everything. And let's try, just draw the curve. Something like that. Maybe I will have even like two curves and they're blending together over there. So this curve will be the guide curve. Uh, so I'm selecting the curve and I will turn this into force. And let's take a look. This is the force parameters. Force field, curve guide force. Okay, attract. This is the default setting. We have attraction strength. The flow is set to zero. Let's see how it looks right now. If we just bake it, we have fluid and the fluid getting sucked into the curve. And that's interesting because this, <laughs> the other. The other curves doesn't seem to work at all. So it's just being pulled into one curve. That's actually pretty interesting. I, I didn't know that's gonna behave that way. Um, so take a look. First of all, our domain size is 2 by 2 by 8 by 4. That's pretty large. Maybe maybe I need to if I make it smaller, the result is going to be completely different. So now it's around 2 meters. Reset, bake again. Still, okay, it's being pulled into that curve very, very quickly. I think the size matters and also uh, attraction strength. Let's try making this like minus 1. Stop, reset, bake. So now it's trying to pull. Okay, now it's not strong enough. Make this to 0.5 and the flow. Let's give this a little bit of flow. Mm. 
probably it's similar to Blender Curve um, and the particles. If you are trying to control the particles using Curve, you need to use the flow. Um, I have a feeling that some of these also responsible. Let's turn off the gravity, reset the simulations, bake. And I think the maximum force and the width. Let's reduce this to 0.1. Reset, bake. This means the attraction is need to be stronger. The flow may be 0.5. Bake once again. It seems to be not respecting this other curve at all. Maybe I should separate this one. Separate by selected. Now the second one need to be force as well. So let's reset everything, bake. Now we have two curve that's kind of fighting each other. So now we have two curve. Um, let's actually scale this once again. I think the scale actually matters. And if I increase the resolution of the curve, we're also going to get a different result. So I have a feeling, so we have two curve now affecting this attraction is too strong. But at least we have some kind of uh, reactions with the curve, with, with, the, with the curve affecting the fluid. So reset everything, maybe bake once again. Take a look at the result. It's trying to create the shape of the curve, but it's not flowing. Maybe increase the force, maximum force. Increase the flow. We can also spin it. Anti-gravity. Okay, let's increase this. Let's increase the resolutions also. Bake. So this, this is around eight, seven meters. I wonder if the box is a bit small. Yeah, I think it's the the shape starting to make sense. It's kind of following the flow. Maybe I need to make this guy bigger. Stop. Reset. So this is probably if you want to control the flow of the river. Okay. I think it's being pulled a little bit fast. And then it gets into shape. Maybe I should make it even bigger. <clears throat> so this one not connected and make the domain actually larger control a 
sign the transform stop <coughs> reset bake so maybe the scaling was wrong before now it seems to be <coughs> seems to be behaving a little bit better it should be pulling the fluid yeah see it's not strong enough or or the graffiti is starting to pull this thing down but I already turned off the gravity that means I need to increase the strength stop reset if I'm not wrong we can also stop the simulation and then increase the resolutions and we get a higher resolutions where we stop the simulations still not strong enough so I'll increase this to 30 flow strings to maximum limit 5 stop reset bake Okay, the curve is pulling the fluid. Maybe the flow is a bit too small. Select so this. The flow is two here, the flow is one. Seems to be better on this this one maybe this flow strength needs to be 5 attraction minus 25 <coughs> fall of power the width the width let's see make it 2 After after a while, the fluid actually started starting to behave close and following the curve a little bit better. Yeah, so this this is quite interesting. That's actually quite nice. This was this is the one that I want. So they meet in the middle. This is quite nice. Let's save this. So fluid is about it's just you know about playing around with the parameters and then make changes, make small changes and then write down the result or check the result and then if you like it you continue and make a bit of changes. It's mostly like that. My feeling is that maybe this curve needs to be subdivided a little bit more so I have more points there so the curve so the fluid can follow the curve a little bit better I think I, I went too far here Point five, maybe spin it, spin it a little bit to add a little bit more variations. So stop simulation, reset, bake. 
fluid inflow outflow force because our our source of fluid is actually from this water water puddle uh, maybe the fluid find it a little bit hard to control a little bit heavy so the fluid at the bottom is keep uh, pulling it down probably easier if we are using like uh, something like an inflow so that the curve simply just follow the curve without being pulled down so you can see the fluid is actually being pulled that way because there's a crossing here maybe I should separate the points here we can see the branching and then the fluid meets in the middle oh yeah this is this is starting to behave a little bit better it's not too bad so this is like a sculpting it sculpting a fluid like a ang on the avatar anime If I increase the resolution of the fluid, the result will be much better, but it's gonna take take a while. So I can stop it. Stop it at the end. I can increase this to 400. And then I can resume the baking while increasing the resolution so it's resuming the baking and using the new resolutions I don't know I don't know how it's gonna look like okay you see this is the original simulations and at frame 250 Suddenly it has higher resolution fluid. And this is, uh, it's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna stop there, reset everything. Back resolution to 100. Let's get rid of the bottom one now. And let's create a an icosphere this time. This guy is gonna be inflow. The inflow is gonna keep emitting fluid. While we also want to control this curve, use this proportional editing tool. Increase it, and we want to set to connected only. So we can control the curve a little bit to the side. Same thing. So, so they are not touching. Okay, so yeah, I think this is, should be good. Bake simulations. Okay, the fluid is being controlled by the curve and also it's keep emitting. I think this is definitely a little bit more predictable not strong enough this one already fall down anti-graffiti distance from the curve that graffiti scaling will take effect increase that increase this flow strings attraction strength minus 40 
So let's reset. Bake. The flow seems to be faster now. But every now and again, if the flow is too strong, it pushes the fluid out of the curve. This one is better, better than this. So flow, strings, 1.5. I also increase this anti-gravity. Minus 30. This is one, <coughs> this one is getting there. This one is a little bit stuck. Stop, reset, bake. Yeah, we, we might actually, there's this in, enable end caps we might want to turn that off so they get connected in the end okay this one is getting better actually it's like a like a tree like a tree growing but it's actually fluid and yeah i think i i quite like this it might be getting somewhere I'll save S. So back to this curve. Take a look at the parameters. Attraction string minus 35. Flow strings is good. Spinning. So I spin this a little bit more. Fall off. Turn off enable end caps. And with the icosphere, with the icosphere, I can turn off the fluid at some point so around one around here I will turn off the fluid insert keyframe disable it let's see how it goes reset I'm using APIC for now. Let's see how, how it looks. So flip fluid is for the larger size of fluid. APIC for smaller size fluid. Smaller size fluid behaves a little, little bit differently. Seems like it's easier to control using the curve flow. It's also quite interesting to know. This guy is shooting out. This one stop emitting, this one skip emitting. So this one is not bad. Okay, now if I want to, I will stop simulation, increase resolutions to 200 and bake. While it's doing that, maybe I can start to work with the material. Let's use blood. <clears throat> blood material and this time I want to make pink blood you see if we change the resolutions of the fluid we get a completely different look this is the thing with fluid simulations 
sometimes if you just increase the resolutions the look totally changes I can if actually go even higher with resolutions um, let's select the domain take a look at the setting sometimes you can go like 500 resolutions and that's really big you're gonna get, end up with like gigabytes of file data if I switch this to EV you can see EV is actually cool because it's rendering without trouble if you use cycles it's gonna clash with the calculations with the processing power So if you looking quite nice, you can have light, area light, for example. This fluid simulation seems to be quite large. Let's take a look at this with the light. usually with fluid you want some kind of light behind this blending you want maybe to be alpha blend oh yeah it doesn't look too nice this one might need a cycles to render I have a feeling the water keeps coming out from this guy so we have too too much fluid let's stop the simulation <clears throat> and switch to cycles Give it an environment and a texture open switch to HDR pack. Try this. Okay, let's that's literally pink blood. subsurface color and give me just this okay so <clears throat> I might actually re-simulate with a higher resolutions um, well, this denoising viewport and render time okay Let's wait a few seconds. Take a look at this result without without the noise. Yeah, I think we can also try color management with filmic. High contrast. maybe medium yeah medium contrast okay this is how it looks like it's already starting to get pretty dense let me show you again with a with the simulations if we select the domain let's use this okay we are using FPIC bake 
So it's gonna be pretty fast here, pretty fast, and then it's following the flow of the curve. And around this frame, I will stop or pause the simulation. Change the resolutions to 300 and then resume baking from frame 151. There. <clears throat> baking in progress. Okay, blah, blah. Okay, you see? Suddenly we have higher resolution fluid. I heard that this is good for like a river simulation. So if you have like the flow of river, you let the fluid flows down the river or the surface. And then at some point you want, you want to just increase the resolutions. So it's going to keep flowing, but the real resolution is much higher when the river already kind of flowing. Okay, cool. Let's stop this and let's try. We have a lot of blob still. Let's try one more thing. Uh, scale everything. Scale everything down. Control A, apply all transform, except for area light. Maybe we will have different result now. 100, 250, big. Yeah, the size of the simulation is now like only around 6, 12 meters. Still pretty large. Simulation will be a lot faster. We have totally different look because this is also higher resolution. The flow, okay, the flow might, might be too too big here. That's why the gravity is starting to pull pull the liquid down. So if let me stop this, reset. Let's try make this smaller. Set origin to geometry. Set origin to geometry. Make it smaller. Control the flow. Spin. I, I, I want to spin this fast. Faster and a lot more. And big. No, you can spend like a whole day just playing with simulations. I have a feeling I need to just turn off the graffiti. Graffiti and force field set to zero graffiti. So we can actually turn off the graffiti. Force field resolutions, low, medium. 